Yo, what is up, everybody? And welcome back to another Madden 24 Ultimate Team Game. Today, we are trying out 93 overall campus hero Johnny Football. Johnny Manziel is our new quarterback at the helm, and... This is going to be my first time switching up quarterbacks. I've only used that Baker Mayfield so far. So let's see if this Johnny Football is the real deal. So this Johnny Manziel is actually a free card. I think he starts at like an 80-something overall. And you can upgrade him to a 93 overall max as P. Warner gets the interception here. And that is going to put Johnny Football on the field for the first time. A little handoff to Kenneth Walker. Try to soften the defense up. And then we can let Money Manziel do his thing. And we got him throwing a nice little RPO. All right, he can throw an RPO. That's cool. Anybody can throw an RPO. Hey, can he scramble outside the pocket and make a play? Yes, he can. On the run, he's got a gun. Finding DJ Chark. Hopping to the four-yard line. Empty it out for Manziel. First down. Step up. Take off. Johnny Manziel into the end zone for six. Hey, man, Johnny Manziel, I believe, has either 93 or 94 speed once you fully max this card out. So you don't want to give him a rushing lane. It'll be too easy. And you'll notice that Johnny Manziel is actually a 94 overall for me. I have one of those strategy cards that gives you plus two throw power. So I was like, you know what? Let's put that on Johnny. Why not? That gets his throw power from around 93 to 95. That could be pretty beneficial trying to get into tight windows. That's a tight window throw that does not work out for my opponent. Third down. The handoff is blowing up. Breezy in your backfield. Now it's fourth down. Obviously, He'll go for it. He's looking to pass. Lock outside, and that's swatted away by Julius Brents. He tried to throw that quick out in the flats, but we had hard flats out there. We're not letting him get that off. His man self fumbles the ball, but it is recovered by Kenneth Walker, thankfully. Well, okay, Johnny, can you still throw an RPO? Yeah, cool. All right, Johnny Manziel, three for three so far in a rushing touchdown. Let's try to increase those numbers on third down. Outside, that's a dime. Jordan Reed trying to jurtle his way through down at the nine-yard line, and yeah, we got Jordan Reed at tight end instead of Dallas Goddard. I switched up my team captains a little bit. Second down. Design draw. Whoop. Johnny Manziel in for six. Juking for joy. And Money Manziel doing his thing. Both throwing and more importantly running that ball. You might have noticed I put that jukebox on Johnny Manziel. I'll show you guys the full breakdown of this Manziel card after this game is done. I figured it would be nice to just hop straight into some gameplay first. And then we could talk about the Johnny Manziel card and fully break it down as Andrew Luck. Oh, time's up. Trying to go middle. And that's broken up. We got that deep in KO on Ed Reed. It's really paying off. And... Obviously, we don't have a ton of abilities. I don't have discounted abilities. One of my players is good enough for that. But the few abilities that we do have, we are making the best of it. The inside stuffs with Breezy and Deron Payne. Uh, deep in KO with Ed Reed. And these Lurk artists with these two middle linebackers have been pretty killer. Though that is going to be a big play for my opponent. He finds Jalen Waddle setting up a goal to go. He dumps it down to Barry Sanders, who is going to suffer a big loss. Eric Barry all over that one. Barry, once again, doing a whole lot of nothing. It's going to be up to Captain Luck to make a play on third down. Extending in trouble. Back in the end zone and caught. Oh, Jalen Waddle with a great grab, but an even better play by Andrew Luck to be able to buy the time and make that one work. And we had that pretty boxed up. That was a little unfortunate. Even Ted Hendricks was kind of there, but hey, man, he kind of got the perfect play out of it. So you just tip your cap to him as Manziel extending, looking downfield. Nothing's there, and we're going to throw it away. So, I mean, look, this Johnny Manziel feels pretty good. It's just, you know, as far as passing the ball, I don't really know if he makes much of a difference from uh, Baker Mayfield from what I've felt so far. Let's see if he can do something special third down. Got that into a tight window. You love to see it. But even more importantly, a great catch by Justin Jefferson, Manziel. Zell with the takeoff once again to gain of four yards. We are able to escape the pocket pretty easily, so that is definitely nifty. That is not. That is Darnell Savage with the interception. Savage on the run back trying to tie the game up with a minute to go in the first half, and that was definitely a mistake by me as Barry Sanders hopping to the five-yard line. I thought I, I misread the field. I had a wheel route on the other side of the field. I thought that was my wheel route, and clearly it was not. It was a comeback route, and it was clearly an interception, so yeah. 
That was my bad. Can't put that one on Johnny. Andrew Luck puts it on his receiver once again. Third down. Andrew Luck is like Houdini out here making something out of nothing. And as my opponent gets all of the momentum, he decides to kick the ball out of bounds. So we will get great starting field position with 45 seconds left in the half. Trying to at least get a field goal to take the lead here. We only have one timeout. We'll preserve that for now to gain a five, but we're kept in bounds. Manziel stepping, throwing. Got it. Kenneth Walker first down. We're going to hurry back to the line. Not going to spike it. That's going to burn up a lot of clock, a lot more than I thought. We have to get a quick hitter, just hopefully get in the field goal range at this point. That's our peak, and we're not going to get there. We're forced to burn that final timeout, and now we either got to go end zone or get about 10 yards here, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Kenneth Walker, quick grab, and he gets out of bounds with three seconds to spare. That'll put Grammatica on the field. That'll give us the lead as we go into the locker room. Nice drive put together there. It was a little bit dicey for a moment. We have kind of blown this game a little bit, but we got a three-point lead and looking for more. Kenneth Walker starting the second half in style. The K-9 is loose. A kick return to start the second half. That is beautiful. Walker untouched. Hey, man, we got to give credit to the blocking on that more than anything else. Kenneth Walker had one job, straight line it, and wave him goodbye. So we don't even get to see Johnny Manziel to start the second half. We do get ourselves a two-possession lead, though, as uh, Waddle making the grab. Uh, this might be the 93 overall, Jalen Waddle. He's, or I don't even think he's 93. He might be like a 90 overall. That's a 90 overall, Juju Brents with the toe drag swag in balance for the interception as we get the quick hitter off to Jordan Reed. I used to have Dallas Goddard out there. That's the one big change we made with this team. Besides, obviously, Manziel, uh, I got a BND center. So I didn't need that team captain Kevin Malway. So I was like, you know what? Let's use it on Jordan Reed here. We sold our Dallas Goddard. He was pretty good for us. Look at that. Wide open. Kenneth Walker. Who's going to cover him? Nobody close enough. Mansell hits him in stride. And the K-9 is in again. And that is going to force the rage quick. Kenneth Walker, man, doing his thing out here. And every time I'm like, man, I probably need to get a new running back. K-9 just... Brings me back in and says, nah, coach, keep me in. Not only keep me in, keep me in as RB1. And yeah, I guess we'll let Kenneth Walker stay on the team. Now we can check out Johnny Manziel before we hop into another game. So he gets the uh, gift wrapped ability for zero AP. So we throw that on him. And we have set lead. That is four AP out of these eight or seven. I don't know how much we get. But jukebox costs two AP. And then we put the safety valve on for one. Clearly, I stacked all my abilities on this Manziel. This is not the ideal way to set him up. I just wanted to get the most out of him I possibly could, which is something we want to do when we test out new cards. And then, you know, you kind of shrink it down to what you're actually, uh, you know, going to use them for, not stack up with the abilities because we kind of need to put other stuff on the offensive side of the ball. But, I mean, the only other ability I was using on offense anyways was Identify. So that's not going to be a groundbreaking loss for us. We're not going to notice it too much. So we hop into another game here. I'm not going to show too much of the defensive side of the ball because, I mean, this game was a lot about third downs and fourth downs. So that's what I'm going to show you guys, just the third downs and fourth downs. This guy was uh, a magician at milking clock or I don't know what his deal was. He was all about check downs and running the ball and trying to make the most of it until it became third down and long. This time it doesn't really work out for him. He settles for a field goal on the opening drive and we're going to get Johnny out there. We got these Lions uniforms for Johnny Manziel for no particular reason. I just happened to pull these Lions uniforms. I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's use them. Uh, these Thanksgiving looking uniforms for Johnny Manziel on first down, stepping up in the pocket and taking off. Whoop! The jukebox on Johnny Manziel is definitely fun to use because you don't really expect the quarterback to have jukebox like that. You definitely want to get big hits on the quarterback as Manziel Aaron throw still hauled in good grab by DJ Chark to make that grab in stride so yeah you know that jukebox definitely catching him off guard but otherwise you know this stepping up in the pocket thing is not exactly a Johnny Manziel specialty like this is something we were able to do with that Baker Mayfield who I think had around 82 speed he was definitely not fast at all fourth down Manziel on the field we're not going to kick the field goal we're not going to match his pace we're going to go for it Manziel stepping up and look at that that's way too easy to take off and get the first down and take someone's ankles afterwards once again three-man rush no quarterback spy you're making my job easy for me whoop Manziel is shattering ankles left and right right now three rushes for 34 yards he still hasn't learned oh and we step up and make the throw this time to Jefferson who's down at the two he commits with his linebacker in the game 
game is easy when you make it easy, right? You know, if he's going to rush three, all right, we're going to run. You commit to your user at that? All right, if you don't, we're going to run it. Johnny Manziel in for six. We're just going to make the game as easy as we possibly can, right? We don't got to go through five reads or read progression. It's like, all right, first guy's not open. Okay, second guy's not exactly open, but the running lane is. All right, Johnny, do your thing. And, uh, you know, having a fast quarterback definitely helps out. But uh, in that essence, you don't really need a fast quarterback to be able to step up in the pocket. That's more just, you know having pocket presence and being able to make those kind of plays. Like I said, that's a play that Baker Mayfield could have easily made for us. And, you know, in that sense, like this Johnny Manziel, I don't really feel like he is anything too special. I almost prefer Baker Mayfield, if anything. But, I mean, this Johnny Manziel, like I said, is a free card. In order to maximize his upgrades, to get all the upgrades possible, you have to do, like, a bunch of chores. You got to do some sets or I don't know what it is. You got to you gotta play house rules to get one of these things. I think you got to win, like, a certain amount of head-to-head -head games to get uh, the stickers to upgrade this Johnny Manziel. So, there's a number of chores you got to do that, you know, I managed to knock out. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's, let's give Johnny a run here. And you know, it's cool. He's cool. But, uh, you know, like, I would if you can upgrade this Johnny Manziel, you know, I would definitely do it. And you might have noticed Johnny Manziel's throwing accuracies are not really too high. Like, they're actually pretty poor for what is a 93 overall card. But, um, I mean, he hasn't really missed many, if any, throws for us. We had that one poor accuracy pass, but even that was completed to DJ Shark. I mean, given, like, the amount of CFM that I played and the amount of bad throws I've seen from Matt Stafford, who was supposed to be a pocket-passing quarterback, as Johnny Manziel just making him look silly out here, I mean, I'm okay with Johnny missing only one pass. I've seen a lot worse. This is a pass that'll be on target, but intercepted by, yeah, you're seeing that right, Randy Moss at cornerback. Silly me not realizing that Randy Moss is playing cornerback out there. I don't know what what Madden is right now in Ultimate Team, but it uh, seems like they went really OD with the out-of-position players for the Zero Chill promo because, I mean, you got Gronk and linebacker and all this stuff. It's it's kind of comical. It's, uh, randomly, this guy decides he's got an angry runs Derrick Henry he wants to show off to start the fourth quarter. He's been saving this one in his back pocket the entire game. Uh, that's real cool, buddy. I'm sure you're a blast at parties, but he blasts his way into the end zone and takes the lead. Works out for him, I suppose, and now a big two-point conversion to make it a seven-point game instead of a five-point game. That's going to be, I believe, Henry in motion. No, that's Todd Gurley with the grab. That's Todd Gurley with the touchdown, and that's like, uh, like a 96 Todd Gurley was at the start, so I have no idea what um, what version of Todd Gurley that is, but he's supposed to be pretty good. But now we put ourselves back against the wall. We need Johnny Manziel to be good. And so far, no bueno. Not a catch in bounds. I don't think we could put that one on Johnny. That was more on the receiver. So Manziel's going to need to bounce back after a bad break here. We need to get six on the board. Third down after the grab. Looking good. Pocket extending. Can we run for the first down? Breaking outside. Johnny's got it in. Then some Manziel staying in bounds. That was ambitious and... A little silly more than anything else as we sneak in a run with Kenneth Walker. Running the ball. Pretty tough, especially when you fumble the ball. K9, chill. Chill, man. Thankfully, we get it. Back drive stays alive at the 32-yard line. On first down, Manziel is down. J.J. Watt. I think that's not limited edition or whatever. 95 overall J.J. Watt, man. Oh, you guys are killing me with these teams. But anyways, we get the dot next play. All good, all good. Manziel stepping, getting away. No, he's not. Down he goes. Harold Carmichael with the sack. That's the same thing I never thought I'd say. Anyways, at the two-minute warning, second down and goal, needing 15 yards, or at least some of it. Manziel fires a bullet. Got it to Jefferson, who stumbles in. Oh, great effort by Justin Jefferson. It looked like we were about to be down at the three-yard line, but Justin Jefferson would not stop until he scored. We're going to kick the PAT, tie the game up. I thought about going for two just because of the way this guy played. But I was like, you know what? The way he plays, I don't even know we can get into field goal range. So we might have to play for overtime unless... He returns the kickoff like that. Then we might be in trouble as he runs a jet sweep to Mac Hollins on first down. Yeah, okay. I'm cool with that. Loss of four yards. Clock is moving. Luck with the drop back. Only rushing four. 
but we do force a quick pass underneath. That is fine by me. Big third down. Clock continues to run. It's a shovel option outside, and we got that contained. Oh, boy, do we have that contained. Gurley lost two yards on the play. He'll go up tempo, fourth down at his own 33. This play could decide the game in our favor if we can get a stop. If we don't, he might be in field goal range. He'll get the snap off. Lock, drop back, good time, going middle. Do not put your hands in the cookie jar. Pete Warner with the clutch interception as we take over at the 45-yard line. Not exactly field goal range. We need to get a couple more yards at least. Having all of our timeouts. Going middle. Going to Walker. He got the grab. He got the first down to the 35-yard line. That should be good range for Grammatica as we let the clock wind down. Going to sneak in a run. Try to get some yardage. That's accomplished. Get down. Two seconds to spare. And now we put Grammatica on the field to win the game in regulation. My opponent tries to ice the kicker. We have the clutch kicker ability. That's not going to affect us so from straight away 43 yards to win the game Grammatica to beat a hero lines it up and knocks it down and that is GG's baby and that was a sluggish game because this guy truly tried to limit possessions by slowing the pace of the game down. Like I said, I didn't show you too much of his offense because a lot of it was like first down runs, first down check down, second down runs, second down check down. Then uh, we just couldn't get the stops on third down. That was really killing us throughout the game. But otherwise, I mean, we played solid defense in that one. Offensively, it was just that one mistake to Randy Moss. Otherwise, we were doing whatever we needed to do on the offensive end, making the plays that we needed to uh, make. So... Shout out to the boys. We'll hop into one more game before this video is done. If you can notice the length of this video, we got time for one more game. So we'll do that. Now, normally I wouldn't play like a third game in this situation for a video like that. Like, I think we got enough out of Manziel. The reason why I ended up just playing another game, it was just because I was trying to get some of those competitive pass field points. I was trying to upgrade my competitive pass before season three ended. So I had to hop into one more game to uh, help that out. I needed to get like another win. I needed to get some stats and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, let's just let Johnny Manziel have one more spin at the wheel. Sure, why not? And you'll notice all of these games are weekend league games. So, you know, part of that was me trying to do the competitive pass stuff. And the other thing was I was kind of kind of in my uh, element in weekend league for some reason. I was racking off a lot of wins for uh, or pff, Mutt Champions. I got to stop calling it weekend league, man. But uh, anyways, Mutt Champions, I was in my element in it. as I was in my element trying to get that interception, but shout out to Randy Moss who was able to stop. He and the quarterback were on the same page to throw it away from me. All right, that's cool. Second down, going middle. Boom, sit down. Ed Reed having none of that silliness. Third down, it's a fake lock. Got time underneath going to Vernon Davis and just good enough for the first down. But hey, man, we're making the throw tough. That's all we can ask for is Andrew Luck missing a pass. I'm not going to lie, as we get the user pick here with Pete Warner, because of course we do. I haven't seen really anybody miss a throw like that, so I'm surprised that Andrew Locke just randomly missed the guy, because that was probably six on the board. Instead, now this guy comes up with snake eyes, but he is playing some defense. He does force a third down. Manziel outside, going for Chark, and that's going to be broken up by Tariq Woolen. Yeah, that DJ Shark is fast. He might not be the best route runner to, you know, run a 10 and out. Here we go. Fourth down. Manziel in trouble and is dumped to the ground for a quick four and out. Didn't have any time to make a play. I mean, truthfully, I don't think we had anybody open at the time. That quick pass rush was a little bit too quick right there, I suppose, so... Yeah, um, it kind of surprised me how good some people's pass rushes are. It's just, uh, you know, I don't know if it's just a dice roll or what. Sometimes you got to get that four-man rush, and it really cooks, and, like, it comes in immediately. And if it doesn't, then it just doesn't come in at all as we give up the touchdown there to Vernon Davis. So, uh, you know, it, it's very random. It feels like there's no style or substance to it. It's just, uh, you know, like this play. Like, this dude's getting absolutely stonewalled. Now I got all day in the pocket here and trying to take off. Maybe try and do a little bit too much. Aaron Donald with the sack right there. Got to let that ball loose and hey any day now we can make a decision or we can just keep on getting sacked that's cool I mean Johnny Manziel could get sacked like any other quarterback you just sit there and wait I suppose going middle you could definitely throw an interception on a play like that I mean we're just kind of all sorts of in a box right now and like I said I really loaded up this game to get some you know much champions 
or you know some of those objectives for the competitive fuel pass before the season ended. I was trying to get my season level up to like around like 40 something. I forget what it was. I think it was 45. I was trying to get to get this uh, 92 Bruce Smith at left guard as we give up a big play. First down and goal. Shout out to Ted Hendricks for laying this dude out. So like I was kind of tired when I was playing this game and I was like, man, like I just need to get my stats. All right, we don't gotta win, but I just gotta go. I have to get some kick return yards, some of that stuff. Don't want to give up touchdowns. Will we give up a touchdown? DJ Moore back at the end zone. Heck of a play by this dude to be able to step away from the pressure and get that pass off all in one motion. That was pretty incredible because we looked, looked like we had that pretty boxed up. But, you know, he needed the perfect play to get out of the jam, and he got it. And now we quickly find ourselves down 14-0 in blowout range. We give up another score or two. Then it might be time to quit out of here. Which, I mean, it's going to happen pretty soon. Third down and long. We've had nothing for third down so far. Hopefully Mantel can bail us out. And he does. Breaking off a hit. Refusing to slide and getting a gain of 17. Next play. That's a flag, I believe, on our opponent. That won't matter. We get the first down to T. Higgins. And as we enter the two-minute warning... We finally have a little bit of momentum. Let's capitalize outside. Need a perfect pass. And we got it to T. Higgins, who makes the grab inbounds. As we are not really chewing clock here, just trying to get a play off. Mansell, end zone. It's caught, but it's not going to be a touchdown. Down at the one is Vernon Davis. So we set up shop. Just need a quick fire. We got it. Jordan Reed from Mansell. Money pass for a yard as we go for a two point conversion, which was another thing. I'm not doing this voluntarily, I needed to attempt a two point conversion to get some competitive pass points. So, um, there you go, Madden. I, I didn't have to come even converted. They just wanted me to attempt this. So, like, all right, Madden, does that satisfy you? Cool. Incompletion, we maybe had a chance on that play, but um. You know, tight window, tight coverage is what it is. As we get back-to-back -back sacks, it may be a chance to make something happen before the end of the first half here. Third down and 22. He is going to drop back the pass here. But look, in traffic and intercepted, Darren Woodson with the pick. And Woodson's going to put us in scoring range immediately. Manziel outside, wide open. Shark turns the corner and is in. And is in. And man, what a different outlook this game has now as we're going to go for the two-point conversion this time just to try to tie the game up. It's good. DJ Shark with the grab. And man, what a back-breaking interception by that dude. Really no reason for that because he could have just pinned us deep with about 30 seconds to go. Instead, we get the ball in pretty favorable position. And now we got the game tied up. And now I'm awake. I was a little sleepy at the start of this game, a little sleep at the wheel. But now I'm ready to go. Let's get a stop. There it is. DRC with the interception. The ERC hugging the sidelines and brought down by DJ Moore, who with 10 seconds to spare, we have one more shot to get a score, and we got it! Vernon Davis in for six. We have just put up 21 points in the last minute of the first half. This guy has to be shell-shocked. He was dominating this game. And even to the point that one drive when we're down, you know, we had a third down and Manziel was able to escape and that has unearthed everything for us as he gets a meaningless completion here to end the first half. I don't really care about what he does there. We're going to go into halftime and I believe we get the ball to start the second half. Have. So the onslaught can definitely continue as Kenneth Walker, he doesn't exactly pin us in the corner, but I also kind of messed up the running start there. So we're going to start at our own 25-yard line. That's why we don't run the ball too much. More often than not, it doesn't work. So second down outside, Shark. About five yards, I guess we'll take that. Lift to play for a third down and medium. Manziel rolling the pocket. Can he outrun the contain? He does. Aaron Donald, no match for Money Manziel. As we go with the RPO outside, Shark. Hey man, those RPOs are covered pretty good. I've, I've been finding it pretty hard to get those RPOs to get big plays. Here's a big play opportunity, and we got it. T. Higgins, the perfect pass from Mansell. As no one decides to block the refrigerator, that's cool. Second down, much better protection. Now Johnny's going to take off. Now Johnny's going to go end zone, but Johnny lost the ball in the process, and it's a fumble lost, a touchback for the Cowboys. And we nearly got the pick right back on the next play. That would have been nice. We do get the sack, though. Now it's third down in 17. Back against the wall for this dude. He needs a play to get some momentum. That is what the doctor ordered. A perfect pass in the corner. Just to throw an interception on the very next play. Do not 
Put your hands in the cookie jar. We won't let you get away with it. Short end zone. Tried to jump to make the grab. That was highly unnecessary. Is Ooh, Johnny Manziel missed a pass under pressure. Hey, man, Baker Mayfield never did that for me. I'm going to look at Johnny's side eye as we don't get much here on third down. I was hoping to be able to turn that upfield, but he made uh, the play he needed to make in the middle of the field. And you know what? We're going to take our field goal. I mean, my mentality is always, you know, we force a turnover. I want to get points off of that opportunity, especially with the lead. I mean, this guy's kind of folding apart right in front of our eyes. I don't want to give him free momentum. So it's like, you know what? Let's make it a two-possession game. If you can earn a trip downfield into the end zone, then good on you. But let's see if you can do it. Late third quarter, he'll go up tempo. Andrew Law. Got the time outside for Moss. And he's lucky that wasn't intercepted. He will get to live to play another down. Watch out! Bradley Chubb. Oh no, that's Kayvon Thibodeau on his back. Tibbs got dibs on the quarterback. Boom! That's not going to fly on Ed Reed's watch. What a hit. Instead of fourth down and one, it's fourth down and 15 at the end of the third quarter. Andrew Luck, what is open? Absolutely, positively, nothing. That's a turnover on downs, and that's going to force the rage quit. Three quarters is all this dude can handle. And we are out of here. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today. Subscribe for more Madden 24 gameplays. Let me know what you guys think about this Manziel. Let me know, you know, what other cars we should potentially try out. I don't really know if there are any right now. But, you know, we'll keep an eye out for some promos or something like that. We'll see if they drop something for playoffs. Until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.